Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 37 in the series and in this episode I'd like to get the line built up between York and uh, Scarborough. I've, it's the junction for the York to Scarborough line has already been in there for a while so it's not going to be overly complicated but I would like to get that line in and what I would like to do as well is start to move time forward a little bit I probably have to do it off camera because I would we're currently in 2011 and I would like to maybe go as far forward as present day or maybe 2022 even just to unlock a few more new trains and things we're currently sat at east midlands airport i built this off camera because it was just a place a, a case of plopping this airport down i did build a little bit of a road and i put a bus service in connecting these up hasn't been doing too much up to now but there's a, a airbus a320 just about to take off with the air the british airways colors on it and there we are he's off towards manchester airport there's only the one service in place, the East Midlands Airport to Manchester Airport service. But it is, I think, starting to be used now, just a little bit anyway. We've got people waiting, five people, that's not too bad actually. And that's probably picked up a little bit because I've put on the Sheffield to Loughborough service, calling it East Midlands Parkway. And I've just put on a um, Nottingham to Loughborough service as well. And we don't have HSTs or anything yet um, so we are running with 67s which are capable of 125 miles per hour with some mark 3 coaches and then a mark 3 dvt on the back so it's not super accurate for this line but I, I, that's why i want to go forward to 2022 because then we unlock the east midlands railway uh, class 800 i'm not sure they're 800 and something aren't they I can't remember what the number is, but um, yeah, we can unlock the East Midlands Railway IEPs anyway and get them in service. So I think, because we do have quite a lot of new stock available and with building the Liverpool, well, the York to Scarborough route, we can do the Liverpool to Scarborough service, which is the 68s with the Mark V carriages and they don't unlock until 2009. So um, we do need uh, those in place now this actually doesn't look doesn't look that's quite hilly but it's not massively complicated you can see here built york um, i'm not sure if i built this off camera or not i think i might have built it during the episode but we put the junction in to go towards scarborough now the first thing i need to do is turn off the electrification for this i'll turn it off just to about here i think just leave it a little bit of a stub in there and then i think just get on crack on and build this line can't play on uh, four times speed but what I might actually do is during the gameplay I'm going to run it the date speed up to times four so at least we're progressing forward a little bit because I think we've got enough lines in place now that we can start to think about the uh, the more modern vehicles that we've got available like the the IEPs on the Trans Pennine route and things like that uh, and it's somebody working on a three is it a 397? The other Trans Pennine Express electrical multiple unit. I'm not entirely sure now. This is like that. This is like that, yeah. Um, I think, looking at it, it's not really that complicated. I think the way it's orientated, it is just kind of a straight run eastwards where it really, Scarborough should really be a bit more northeasterly up here, but not to worry. We will uh, work with it. It's not miles off, and I think actually the route in real life is probably a little bit more hilly than it is on this, possibly. But we're not going for any, not going for any mad viaducts. We we'll just keep it simple. Where's Scott? I'm just trying to. Right, if we curve out, should we, should we allow a tunnel? Let's let's see. Actually, there's this. The only thing with this map is it doesn't show, does it? Does the open rail map? Yeah, it's a map. Does it show tunnels? I don't think it does. So no, it doesn't look like there is any. So we'll just, I think we're not, we're not going to allow it. We're going to disallow it. <laughs> Get rid of that. Now this should be fairly straightforward, he says, but we're not going to hold our breath. So no tunnels, unless I am told. Otherwise, 
in the comments and I might put a little one in and then I think I just want to curve down a little bit seems a bit counterintuitive but I just want to if we curve it down a little bit let's just bring the map all the way back up again yeah where where are you yeah on it is a lot more northeasterly isn't it rather than just easterly but not to worry what I also want to do is replicate a little bit of so if I just bring that down yeah, don't don't really need any viaducts or anything. This this is relatively flat terrain. Now there isn't for the most part it's not too bad. It is quite curvaceous, but it comes to a an area and I'm just gonna use this road actually to kind of work against. So I want a reasonable speed still would be nice. 80, 90, I guess. Looking at it on the open map it is I don't think you'd be getting up to it's coming into Molten, where it comes into Molten, it's just like it does a massive diversion <laughs> so uh, I think in real life I don't think the speed profile of those curves would be anything much up towards the 80 miles per hour mark anyway just get rid of this road just using this road as a bit of a feature just to work off of just for this little bit of a weird divert like kink in the track so we'll, we'll try for 80 just try and replicate it a little bit I know it's not necessary because this is flat what we've got there we've got the interim we've got the skyfall 225 and we've got an anglian uh, that looks like a 156 and we've got another we've got the reva trains wales dvt as well which we can put on to the um cardiff hollyhead service so we'll do a little bit of a little bit of a wiggle and then Bring the other track in as well so yeah we are well, we're already a year and then just 100 that'll do i think the 68s are capable what the 68s go i can't see it's no depot so i'll find out in a minute actually this road does need to be upgraded as well and then just kick it out that way so at least there is a little bit of representation of what's there but no that's actually looking at it it's a bit stretched out now come on we can do better than that i think so delete all this right back to to here and then just a little bit of a curve so we're trying to keep to 80 i think that's the problem and then it just curves 80 yeah it's a reasonable speed i think and then what do we want just another another curve like that no not like that <laughs> Yeah, I was having a little conversation with Ajax Post in the comments and it was saying about having a planning mode and that really would be helpful, I think. I'm pretty sure that Trains and Trucks Tycoon had a planning mode and that was God knows how many years ago that was out. God, I can't even, can't even think. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll just have another another bit of a curve, not, not a 60 I know it's not it isn't necessary at all but because we're on such a straight and flat thing and there is that little bit of a curve in the track then I just want it to at least have a little bit of it in anyway although it is a little bit a little bit stretched out but it allows us to come in to come in at a different approach and, and we've already got the track in there so we're facing the wrong way anyway so to about there and then just Get that in there like that sorted almost coming up to 2013 good nice and simple apart from that little bit uh, the rest of it was quite straightforward terrain no that's the wrong one terrain do a little bit of smoothing and yeah just no that's that's the that's the wrong one again yeah this this brush should definitely be bigger even in the game mode i know it's costly but some of the uh terrain work just takes an age so I'm gonna leave that right so where are we I broke this road so we'll get that fixed Ooh, we've got uh, Bombardier oil tank Ooh, uh, class 168 class 170 and the network rail DVT yeah go away go away now you're in the way right so what do we want to do we want to upgrade this no we don't want to upgrade it we want to repair this Something like that, and I'm gonna put that 
across there and then I'm going to use the Gird Bridge and I'm going to try and do a better one this time, not, not like that, that's not better at all. That gives us a nice-ish bridge to work off and then what have we got? We've got loads to choose from, I'm not sure what colour to have it, red, grey, no grey looks a bit, a bit boring. We'll go with the green like that and then just connect that up to there, Should, nope, <laughs> not like that, straight off there please. Right, back it up, do that, and then that, that that's hideous, why? Why is it so hideous? Maybe if we bring it down a little bit more gently, do a bit of a curve, that's better. And then just get this connected up over here. Can I just, no I can't, bring it down, chuck that into there. Now as for the actual buttresses, um, no it's not, what? No, I don't, want to, I don't want to put that in, whatever that is. What is that third rail thing floating in the air? Oh, that's good, isn't it? Right, so, now the only thing with this, I don't think there is an option for the road. So that's three, four. Might be able to fake this, possibly. And that's, f uh, what's that, four? No, that's too wide, I can't fake it. Can we? No, it's just... You would have thought there would have been a road option. Middle, front. Full of skew, what's that? Skew. Minor offset, major offset. Is that doing something? That doesn't appear to be doing anything. Nor does that. Um, if skewed. Side of... No, not sure. There is the other option to go with this, which is just a wall, which doesn't have anything on it. And it just provides a little bit of a... We're un unlocking more stuff, so we've got the 68s are now out of the Ch uh, Chilton's Railways, Direct Rail Services, DRS, and what else have we got? 156 in, I'm not sure what colours they are. So we could just put a little bit of a wall until I've figured out how to use this properly. Because I would have assumed there'd be something for roads. So we're just covering that little bit of a glitch as well. And it does provide a little bit of a retaining wall anyway. It looks better than the standard. Yeah, I, th I think we could, could potentially do something better than that in the future. But I think for now that will, that will do. I don't think we can get the terrain to flatten no we can't it just it's like glued to it I think there must be some options but I haven't really played around with this too much yet doesn't he I do need to play around with it a little bit more to get it all looking good I'm not going to upgrade all of the uh, well I'm not sure if it's upgrade or downgrade but I'm not going to convert all of the rail bridges to the new girder bridges but I will possibly change some of them if we have to come back to new stations and things like that. I think Manchester Victoria actually I do want to revisit because that does have quite a significant a what's the word I'm looking for? A quite something bridge. Quite unique bridge over the road at the bottom of what is what was the managed uh, what is it now the phones for you arena it is I think it's not the MEA anymore. M E N anymore Right, so we've got that one in. Now we need to reconnect this road and upgrade this as well. So I will upgrade this anyway. Where's, where's it actually going? Well, I can I definitely could do with a better connection to York than that. But we'll, all, we'll upgrade all these roads anyway. And this one as well. God, there's loads of roads I haven't upgraded. Get that upgraded. What about this one here? That's not upgraded either. Now someone did suggest in the comments that I build the M62 to fall that um, Leeds Warrington to Leeds fuel service and I think I might I, I probably won't do it on re camera or record it I might do a little bit on camera but I probably might I probably will build it <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say but uh, I, I probably won't do it all on camera it's gonna but I think that's gonna be quite an undertaking it's definitely more complicated than building a railway that's for sure just because you've got it, it is the junctions and things. And I might, what I might do is I might build the most of 
the M62 off camera and then I might actually do an episode where I build a junction and then the last I did a tutorial on city, four city skylines on how to do a roundabout interchange so I might actually do an, a, an episode on this on building a roundabout interchange we've got a load of 92s we've got the VTEX are out now and what else yeah the VTEC yeah see that's the only thing with speeding time forward is we are missing out on a lot of these liveries which I would have liked to have had a look at before we move forward so yeah it's, a, it's just a trade-off I think what I'll do is actually I'll slow it down and I did actually want to take a look at that uh, so what we've got did want us to take a look at that livery so it would be LNER change all those replace them with the so it's a electric locomotive it is a 91 where are you so I'll do I'll do a VTEC one I think I would like to take a look at that passenger Mark 4s all the way down here somewhere so I'll put on a, a one of them no 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 not, not not one of them so one of them one of them and then just a load of standard carriages are they standard i can't actually see capacity of 30 so 260 and then on the back obviously we want our duet here that's 240 meters long so let's replace them for 179 million pounds fantastic and then put the upgrade that and we want to replace these as well it's a good thing we're not worrying about money anymore isn't it so we want to do that again can i no don't think you can clone vehicles from two different services can you so we'll just have to do it manually should should we do let's do a transition from east coast silver because i quite like that one and then where is it so is there a so the carriages are they transitioned or just do they say what have i done i've gone for the the silver haven't i so one of them one of them and then the rest just whatever well it's 218 and then the transition dvt on the back like so and then replace all them for however many hundreds of millions of pounds let's take a quick look at that so that's the transitional one where it was going from uh, east coast railway or east coast trains to virgin and then there's the um the other one the full vtech virgin trains which didn't stay virgin trains for very long but uh, it was it wasn't a bad livery actually it does look quite good and it's not too well it, it's exactly the same isn't it for east coast trains because they just kept the, the wrap and then just changed the virgin got rid of that so it's not too dissimilar but i'll keep that for for a while i think just i think it's just nice to just appreciate some of the different liveries that are available so, um, but i don't actually know where i'm going now i'm lost it is quite expensive for just having a look at the liveries but we're not running we're not worrying about money really anymore anyway so it's not the end of the world so um yeah we don't have to worry about it too much it is just nice to appreciate them and we'll do what should we do here something like that something like that maybe keep it green i do like the green actually where's that bit of road no, it's not gonna let us do that is it all right bring that down is it gonna let us yeah it's gonna put a curb in there that's better and then where's the other bit of road it's all the way over there so it's just gonna have to curve and then hopefully we can just go in straight like that good get all that in no, I'll have to do that later because it's going to take an age. Is that level? It is. And then back to the back to the assets, and we'll just play around with these walls just for now. It does make it look a little bit better, I think, having the walls in place, even if they haven't got the the things on the end. Yeah, we'll have a, I will have a little bit of a of a play around with them. I think just trying to cover that gap where there's a bit of a glitch in the terrain with with the wall as well like so and then the rest of this road wants to be upgraded that's all upgraded that's fine upgrade that little bit as well 
yeah, get that bit upgraded. So there, that's all good. That's all connected. We put that little bit in there, and I need this. This needs upgrading as well. Upgrade that and this because it all helps towards town growth. It's not uh, town growth. If we're not worrying about money, town growth, I guess, isn't hugely important. But at the same time, it would be nice to see a good passenger load on some of these services that we've got going on. Who knows if we? I'm thinking possibly if you're working on the build it and they will come basis. So I'm wondering if once this network is in fully operational, as we start to connect more of the towns, if the services will in fact start to make a little bit more money, or if it's just a lost cause and they won't make any money at all. Oh, that was. I thought it was going to crash then. There's so many roads to. Uh, I'm just I'm going on an upgrade spree now. Let's see if we can't get these towns to uh, to grow a little bit quicker. I know some of these aren't connected anyway, but maybe if we upgrade the road network to them, that they might actually decide to um, to grow a little bit before we actually get in there with the rail service. So that's fine. Now, what do I want to do? I think for now. Is there a depot anywhere? Should be a depot in York. No, no depot in York. Leeds, maybe. Right, so by vehicle, what have we got? I think for now, diesel water units. Probably, it probably is going to end up being turbo style, I think. Plus 170s for now. 100 mile per hour, yeah, I think. The IP, we can't really go with those yet because it's far too early. So I'm looking, looking at it, we're probably. Yeah, probably looking at uh, class 170s in place of 185s because obviously we haven't got those. And I'm not sure if we will anytime soon. So yeah, we'll put a few of them on. I won't rush forward with the time too much, but I think what I will do is I might upgrade uh, all of the trains all of, to kind of 2015 colours, I guess. Yeah, because we're still running. I'm not sure. Actually, when did the new... I will check when the new northern kind of branding start to take effect with the blue doors and the Transpanner Express Star livery, which we already have available. Oh no, that's not the star one, is it? That's that's the one before that, so forget that. But I will upgrade some of these to the more modern liveries anyway. Then I think after that we will start to think about moving time forward a little bit. But we've got the main thing, the main rail into Scarborough built and I'll get the services from Liverpool Lime Street to Scarborough into place with the 170s for now and then eventually there will be uh, class 68s so I'm going to leave it there for today we're going to where are we I'm actually going to come down here to to Loughborough where we've got these um, these in place which are operating on. I've just got a couple. I haven't really bothered with the colours. Just I've got this one, BR Blue, and I've got this one with a Swallow livery just for now until we do get the uh, Class 800s operating on that route between Nottingham and Loughborough and Sheffield and Loughborough. But I'm going to leave it there anyway. I'm going to say until next time, bye bye.